tell you guys this is pretty much um the most comfortable way to like sit I guess in the house right now because being that that virus likes to the um, cold it's better to have you know the body um, you know heated and so yeah truthfully um, I don't know whether it's mental or not but it's just like it always feels like I'm gonna slip right back um, in today um, four, five, or six, as far as my sore throat and um, the upper respiratory, and as far as you know, maybe getting a fever, um, and um, the chest um, tightness, and all of that. So, I'm always like uh, feeling anxious, and I think that's why I probably really can't eat. Um, it's because I'm just feeling so anxious, but I'm still trying to keep positive. I'm still trying to, you know, drink my water and tea and all that stuff like that. I'm um, still having soup, so yeah. Just waiting for this thing to fully pass or for me to, you know, stop worrying so much about it. such a great day in New York City today as far as the weather is concerned and I haven't heard as many ambulance sirens today so I think that's a good thing because all the other days you would hear them like continuously through the day and through the night um, which was very depressing so, Dimitri and I are just going to go out for like a little bit until I'm going to be back in the house so I have my mask so Dimitri is going to get us some lunches from this school right here. He did not want to go. Cause he is just so, so proud, I swear. He's just so proud. Poor thing. But I want to show you guys. I want to see um, what basically it is that they're giving out. Of course, we're going to probably, eat, I mean, eat them, of course, you know. But um, I want to see what type of lunches that they're giving out and um i would have pressured him to get one that's halal the other one vegetarian and then a regular because i wanted to see um basically the different type of lunches that they have but because he didn't even want to go i didn't even pressure him to you know to ask them for the different type of lunches so, I mean, I don't, I definitely, you know, I can't go in because I'm not feeling well. See, you know, what he brings back and I'll show you guys. Okay. I hope you guys are all doing well out there. Alright, you guys. So we have the goods. We have the food. Alright, so this is but look at Mr. D talking about I have it, opening it up. But they have Cheerios in here. It has an apple juice. Um, let me open it. All right, it has a little graham cracker, honey graham cracker. 
And so this is a cute. I mean, I guess it should have had some. Oh, no. Here we go. We have chocolate milk. It's a little muffin or something look like in there. And some applesauce that I'll probably eat because I've been making my own applesauce. And then in this one, it just have a bag of chips. It has an orange and it has cookies. So I guess that was the lunch that Dimitri is eating mm -hmm. or the dinner. Yeah, because it there's no other dinners. still doing a lot of clearing of my throat because I still have a lot of phlegm that keeps like building up and especially at night like last night before I went to bed I had a lot of um, saliva in my mouth not so much the phlegm and then it went away um, like maybe an hour before I fell off asleep. And then I woke up early in the morning, probably like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And my um, lungs felt like they were like compacted with phlegm. And so of course I had to sit up in the bed and I had to continuously um, empty. Um, my lungs. It's a disturbing thing for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 